Welcome to Sir RP's channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. This is the second learning competency to be discussed in Mathematics 9. So, learn and love math with Sir RP. We have this most essential learning competency. The learner solves quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. But for this specific session, we will focus on solving quadratic equations by factoring. Are you ready to learn? Set back, relax, and get ready to learn. Let's first define the terms. We have factors. Factors are two or more expressions that give the given expression when multiplied. For example, the factors of x squared plus 2x minus 3 are x plus 3 and x minus 1. Because when we multiply x plus 3 and x minus 1, it will result to x squared plus 2x minus 3. Factoring is a mathematical process of finding expressions which when multiplied will result to the given product. Second term to be defined is zero product property. If a times b is equal to zero, then either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. If the product of two real numbers is zero, then either of the two is equal to zero or both are zero. For example, if x times the quantity of x plus two is equal to zero, then we can say that x is equal to zero or x plus two is equal to zero. That is for the zero product property. For us to understand more of this property, let us have this example. Apply the zero product property to find the solutions of x plus five times the quantity of x minus four equals zero. Here is the solution. To find the solutions of the quantity of x plus five times the quantity of x minus four equals zero, follow the steps below. First, equate each factor to zero and solve for the values of x. Since x plus five times x minus four is equal to zero, at least one factor must be equal to zero according to the zero product property. That is x plus five equals zero, which is negative five by applying the addition property of equality and x minus four equals zero, that is x is equal to four when using the addition property of equality. From there, if we are going to check the solution, we need to plug in the values of the original equation. By looking at the checking of the solution, we can say that x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 4 are correct. Next, find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0 by factoring. In order to find the solutions of x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0 by factoring, follow the steps below. First, find the factors of x squared minus 3x minus 18. So start by constructing a template for two binomials. Next, determine the factors of x squared. We have x and x. Determine the factors of negative 18. The factors can be negative 6 and 3. We need to consider that these two factors will result to negative 18 and its sum is also equal to negative 3. So we have again negative 6 and 3. Verify the factors are correct by multiplying the factors. Since the product of the quantity of x minus 6 and the quantity of x plus 3 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 18, then the factors are correct. Second, apply the zero product property. Equate each factor to zero. Since x minus 6 times x plus 3 is equal to 0, then we have x minus 6 equals 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. From here, solve for the values of x. We just need to apply the addition property of equality. First, x minus 6 equals 0, thus x is equal to 6. And x plus 3 equals 0, so x is equal to negative 3. Then if we try to check, we can say that x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 3 are solutions to the equation x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. And that's it. That is how you find the factors 
of a quadratic equation. Let's have another example. Find the solutions of x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0 by factoring. Just remember the steps. Okay, let's try to solve. We have here the given and we need to factor it out. Consider that the two factors will give you a product of 12 and the sum is equal to 7. Again, the factors should be equal to C when multiplied and should give a sum of B when added, of course. So we have x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 0. We apply the zero product property by equating the two quantities to 0. We have x plus 3 equals 0, which is negative 3, and x plus 4 equals 0, which is negative 4. And these two are the solutions of quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. We used factoring. Let's have the fourth example. Find the solutions of x squared plus 9x equals negative 8 by factoring. Here is the solution. To solve for this quadratic equation, we need to consider the following steps. Considering that the given equation is not in its standard form, we need to transform the equation into the standard form. Okay, that is, we need to apply the addition property of equality, and then we get x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. Second, we factor the quadratic equation. Remember the steps we had earlier or in the previous slides. So we need to find two factors such that when multiplied will give you C, I mean added will give you the value of P. We have 1 and 8, positive 1 and 8. We now have the factors x plus 1 times x plus 8 is equal to 0. From here, we apply the zero product property. We equate the two expressions to 0. We get x plus 1 equals 0, that is x is equal to negative 1, and x plus 8 equals 0, that is x is equal to negative 8. And these are the solutions to the equation x squared plus 9x equals negative 8. So if we try to check, we can see that the two solutions are correct. Next example. Find the solutions of x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0 by factoring. Let me show you the solutions. We have x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. From there, we find two factors. We have negative 9 and 2. Since negative 9 times positive 2 is negative 18, a negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. We have the quantities of x minus 9 and x plus 2 equals 0. From there, we apply the zero product property. We have x minus 9 equals 0, that is 9, and x plus 2 equals 0, which is negative 2. These two are the solutions of the equation x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. Let's now proceed to the sixth example. Solve for the equation 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0 by factoring. As we can observe, the value of a is now greater than 1 compared to the previous examples. To solve for quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus a equals 0, where a is greater than 1, we first multiply the leading coefficient and a constant, or we multiply a and c. From here, we have 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. Next, think of the factors of negative 6. The product of the leading coefficient with a constant that is negative 6, that when added will give a sum of 5. That is the coefficient of the middle term or the value of b. We get 6 plus negative 1, which is equal to 5. Again, Consider looking for factors which when added will give you 5. Next, step 3. Divide the factors by the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the value of a. So we have 6 and negative 1. Divide the 2 by 3. So that is 6 divided by 3, which is 2, and negative 1 
divide by 3 is still negative 1 third. From here, we simplify and then change the sign. So from positive 2, it will become negative 2. And from negative 1 third, it will become positive 1 third. And these are the solutions to our quadratic equation. Just remember the four steps. Next, it's now your turn to solve this equation. 2x squared minus 30x plus 108 equals 0. Solve this by factoring. Again, remember the steps. We have multiply the leading coefficient and the constant or multiply a and c. We have 2 times 108 which is equal to 216. Then we need to think of the factors of 216 that will give us a sum of negative 30. From there, we get what factors? We get negative 18 and negative 12. Because when we multiply the two, it will give us 216. And when added, it will give us negative 30. Divide it by, or divide the factors by the leading coefficient, which is 2. Negative 18 divided by 2 and negative 12 divided by 2. Then we simplify, we get negative 9 and negative 6. From there, we change the signs, that is 9 and 6. Therefore, the values of the x in this equation are 9 and 6, all positive. Okay, and that's it. I hope that you learned something from our discussion today. That is how to solve quadratic equation. Now, let me ask you again the most essential learning competency. Did you achieve the target of the day? The answer lies on you. By that, here is your task. Solve for the value or the values rather of x using factoring. We have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0, x squared plus 10x plus 16 equals 0, x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, x squared minus 12x plus 36 equals 0, and x squared plus 5x equals 0. For your answers, please use the comment section. And that ends our session for today. Thank you, Keeper, for the slides used in this presentation. Once again, thank you and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates. This is Sir RP.